My name is Brando Benifei, I am a second term MEP, so I've been a member of European Parliament for almost 10 years and I am uh, the rapporteur together with another colleague, so we have been in two colleagues, me and another one, the leading negotiators with the Council, so with the governments of the EU, um, uh, for the text of the first ever horizontal legislation in the world on AI, that is the European AI Act, the AI regulation uh, of the European uh, Union. Uh, we started working on that uh, based on political um, uh, resolutions and uh, a, a, a series of hearings in a special committee on artificial intelligence, but then this turned into a legislation on which we worked for around two years and now we are in the final stages for it to become a real law of the Union. Uh, if you had to explain the law that you've been working on in sort of subtle terms, um, what do you think it will do specifically for recruitment? Well, the law in general is focused on reducing risks uh, by putting in place protocols of risk reduction and in this way increase trust and uh, uh, support for people and enlargement of opportunities. Uh, so the law is to uh, support the choice of using AI, it's not to limit it, but to put it under uh, clear rules, focusing on more sensitive areas. Um, uh, not on all AI use cases, but those that are more impactful for uh, uh, health, safety and fundamental rights of people. So recruitment and the workplace in general are considered to be sensitive and so high risk and so under the stricter regulation. Because for example, I give you one example that is very obvious, that is one of the simple examples we have been looking at to develop uh, these rules, is the use of uh, uh, curriculum selection uh, uh, programs that have learned to discriminate women. This is a classic example. They exist, they are yeah. used because they've learned that for certain type of jobs, whatever qualifications and experience a woman has, she should never be cho uh, chosen because they learned that by the data they were trained with. Um, so they can learn to be uh, uh, even more prejudicial than, uh, than uh, uh, human beings if they are trained uh, with certain type of data. And so with our uh, regulation, uh, we would prevent that uh, because we would uh, uh, undergo uh, this kind of, we, we will put these systems under <clears throat> a, a conformity assessment that would also entail a, a verification of the quality and appropriateness of the data used to train the system. Right, and so much is about the data that you put in because often the debate in recruitment is, well, you know, this AI that will make, there will be more bias than human beings. And the sort of AI fanatics will say, no, actually, humans are biased, the data is biased, so therefore, you know, trying to work with AI can only enhance the process. But what is your view on making sure that recruitment, in whatever form it's, it's done, that with AI it could perhaps be less biased or more biased? What, what do you lean towards? I, I'm convinced that it can be much less biased. Clearly, we cannot completely eliminate these risks, but the way we have designed our regulation, um, it will entail uh, checks that will need to be uh, performed uh, following a standard that is now being developed. So that's why even if the law will be approved as a law of the Union yeah. in uh, April 2024, it will take around two years before this will be fully applied because we need standards to be developed, for example, on quality and appropriateness of data. That is crucial to look at how the training is done. At the same time, I want to be clear that we will start a clearly imperfect but partial uh, application of the law uh, with a voluntary uh, anticipated compliance procedure for businesses and institutions before the standard is developed. So we will support businesses and institutions with a program that the European Commission will uh, developed called the AI Pact um, that would uh, help enacting the AI Act before it becomes a mandatory law. So it will accompany businesses and institutions to comply. In this case, 
that for the example I made to comply with the obligations to check the appropriateness and quality of data used to train their systems, including systems used to perform recruitment uh, uh, duties.